don't know. I just love it like that. <laughs> what in the world? Not me trying to salvage this. <laughs> <laughs> wow. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's Brittany, your favorite PO. And today we're doing our own DIY at home eyebrow tint because I am uh, right now I'm going through treatment for breast cancer, and the chemotherapy has taken away my hair, taken away my brows, taken away. Um, a lot. Let's just put it like that. <laughs> so I wanted to do this DIY at home eyebrow kit that I saw on YouTube and I've done it before in the past. But the difference is in the past I've had actual hair to dye and now I don't have that much. But I don't want to keep rambling on. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and I hope you get a good laugh because I certainly did. So let's get right into it. I used the Just For Men beard dye kit in the color M45. So that's kind of dark. I like my eyebrows to be dark brown. I feel like it just frames the face better or frames my face better. And they give you a color developer and then they give you the color base. So we're going to mix these two together and see how dark it gets. I typically will add just like a little squirt, just a little bit in the tray that comes with it. So that's the color base. So you can see how dark it is. And then I'm going to go ahead and put about that same amount of the developer. I don't want to do too much because I mean... We're doing a small area today. To mix it, I just take the end of one of my makeup brushes and I just mix it together. And then you can see, just make sure it's fully incorporated. So once it's all mixed together, I just let it sit for about two or three minutes and it's gonna get a little bit darker. And so while that's sitting and getting a little bit darker and developing, I'm gonna use a concealer around my eyebrows just so the dye doesn't get in areas that I don't want it to go. So if you use a concealer on those spots around the eyebrow, it kind of helps the dye stay in place of where it's supposed to go. And it doesn't dye the unwanted area, of course. We've already like cleaned up my eyebrows. I don't have much eyebrows left because as you know, chemotherapy, it makes you lose your hair. And so not only did I lose hair on my head, but I also lost hair on my eyebrows. And my hair is not growing on my legs underarms nowhere no hair is growing so i have the rimmel london match perfection concealer and this is in color 430 medium just in case anybody wants to know and i'll link it down below in the description box if you want to purchase this one i really like this one because it has an applicator tip already on it and i use this a lot so of course the tip is a little bit dirty just forgive me but i'm going to go ahead and look into the mirror and start putting on my concealer around my brows <laughs> I feel like this part takes the longest because you know you want to kind of get it good, get it perfect. But there's no perfect brows. Like who am I kidding? Let's do this one. I just want to be. I just want to be successful. All right. And then I really don't put any in the front, but you can if you want to. So I just leave it like that. It looks so crazy right now, but trust the process. Okay, it's gonna get better. <laughs> So here's the eyebrow tint after it's been sitting for a little bit. See how it's darker? So we can go ahead and start applying it. I like to apply it with an angle brush. I also apply like eyebrow products with an angle brush. It just makes it easier. And I also link this one down in the description box if you want to purchase it and try it for yourself. So I'm just going to put some on my brush. Okay. I didn't put too much, but just enough to get started. And I like to start in the middle. Darling, I care. I care for you more than my own self. I'll go ahead and start on the other side. Darling, I'll I know it looks crazy right now, but y'all trust the process, okay? Just, just trust the process. <laughs> And it's okay if it's not perfect and it gets on the concealer because, like I said, that kind of protects your skin from getting the um, dye on the unwanted parts. So we're just going to wipe that off at the end. We can have that one thing or we can have everything if our hearts are true. They also have different colors, so if you don't like your eyebrows dark, you can get like a lighter brown. Um, they have multiple colors. But I feel like I have dark hair, so I like my eyebrows to be dark. I don't know. I just love it like that. <laughs> okay, like I said, y'all, trust the process. I know it looks crazy. Wait till the end for the results, okay? What I'll do now is let this sit 
sit for about 10 or 15 minutes. I like to sit for longer than the box instructs you to because like I said, I don't have any eyebrows and I feel like I get a darker, a more rich color if I keep it on 15 minutes. So I'll check back with, with y'all in 15 minutes. All right, you guys, it's been 15 minutes now. It's time to take this off. I know it looks crazy. Like I know y'all probably thinking, what is she doing? <laughs> I'm kind of thinking that myself at this point, but we'll have to take it off and see what it looks like. So I'm going to use a, uh, what is this? Makeup remover wipe to try to get it off. Usually when I, usually when I do this, I use a, just a damp uh, cotton pad, but I don't have any cotton pads, but I do have these makeup remover wipes. So let's see how this goes. Which one did I do first? Oh, this one first. Okay. Oh Lord, I'm scared y'all. I'm scared. <laughs> oh, it's coming off. Oh my God. I'm looking the I have a mirror right here as I'm looking into the Oh <laughs> Okay. Okay. I mean it's it's kind of looking okay. <laughs> Let's see. Let me get more of a shape. See I was real sloppy when I was applying it. And that was a mistake. So y'all can learn from my mistake, okay? <laughs> Be very precise when you put it on. But at least it's there. Like, look. Okay. I'm going to do that. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh my goodness, look at that. Look at how I messed that up, y'all. Oh man, it's not coming off. Oh wait, if I scrub it hard enough, it's coming off. I just have to scrub it hard. Okay, okay. Oh my God, the end looks so bad. <laughs> I cannot believe I messed this up so badly. Well, I can believe it. For me, I am floored at how I mean, but my skin is dyed like y'all, it's dyed. I don't know, alcohol, and I can't get it off. <laughs> oh my god, okay, we just don't call this a fail video. Because I didn't do it right. Let me look in the mirror. Not me trying to salvage this. <laughs> I'm about to do salvage. Wow. At this point, I already knew my eyebrows were messed up. They looked terrible, but I had to try something. I did not want to be defeated. So I pulled out that concealer and tried to make it do what it do. Here's what it did. <laughs> Use my finger. Yep, that's not help. That's not really helping. <laughs> Y'all, this is crazy. And it won't come off. I tried to rub it off, but it won't come off. Well, here you have it. Here's the end. Here's my failed DIY eyebrows. <laughs> Please let me know in the comments down below if you got a good laugh out of this. I hope you did. And I hope your day is going well. I will upload a new YouTube video on Sunday. It'll be a vlog for chemotherapy treatment. Make sure you check it out. Have your post notifications turned on. Just turn on that little bell icon and click subscribe if you haven't already. And join the family. Thank you guys so much. And I will see you in the next video.